What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we have some good news for those of you waiting for an iOS 15 jailbreak. Even more research has been posted by security researcher John Ackerblom. This video is brought to you by Phone Rescue, a software that allows you to do data recovery from your device or from backups or even from your iCloud account. And you can also fix the device stuck in recovery mode or boot loop and so on. You can also recover the screen time passcode if your device is blocked. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably remember, back in April, John Ackerblom posted an exploit for iOS 15 and it's available here on GitHub. This one works up to 15.1.1. It was patched in 15.2 and it can be used for Taurine and even for Uncover to update their tools. In fact, this might be usable even for iOS 14.8, 14.8.1, 14.7 and so on. On those devices where the Uncover has never been updated to support them, like the A14 devices. However, today John Ackerblom posted something else. They also posted the slides for their presentation held at ZeroCon 2022 and these basically detail the exploits and the techniques and so on and this could prove very useful for the jailbreak community because these contain a lot of techniques and how to exploit and where the bugs are and so on. So for anybody interested on how all these work, this presentation details a lot of important things including kernel vulnerability mitigations and so on but the most important part is the currently available techniques that are being used in order to get generic kernel read and write primitives. And you can see here that the IPC port or TFP0 has been heavily mitigated over time. And yes, that's correct. Jailbreaks used to use this a lot in the past. We used to get TFP0 with almost every kernel exploit in order to get a jailbreak, but that stopped being reliable back in iOS 14. Then we got the pipe buffers, which have been packed or pointer authentication coded in 14.2, then UIO, which was packed in 15.0, and currently IO Surface Client, which is still available to this day. So yes, jailbreaking is definitely not dead. It's still possible to get kernel read and write primitives even without TFP0, which was patched a long time ago. Pattern F has been the first to demonstrate this, the usage of this. Apple has done something about that in iOS 15.0. They blocked a couple of methods from being public available to the Safari sandbox but they did not block all of them. So that's exactly how John Ackerblom managed to create the exploit for iOS 15.1.1 and lower because there still are various methods to get kernel read and write primitives because this exploit over here also has kernel read and write. So how good is this exploit and this presentation for jailbreak purposes? Well very good. It supports a large variety of iOS 15 firmware starting from 15.1.1 and going all the way down to 14.6 and so on and both the Turing and the Uncover team can benefit from it. In fact, Coolstar already announced that they might be using this exploit that was released in order to update Torin for 14.6, 14.7.1, 14.7 and even 14.8 on all devices, which is definitely great. However, we don't have any information from Uncover if they're going to update their tool or not, but the exploit that was released is actually quite good for that. And the presentation that was released today detailing the techniques and so on is also very important because it tells a lot of information that is needed to be known by people who are getting started with jailbreak development. So yes, definitely great news coming from John Ackerblom. Thanks for posting the exploit and also the presentation. It definitely helps to continue the jailbreak movement. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.